Hey guys, welcome back. It's Keegan here, Seared and Smoked. And today we're gonna to do a little outdoor cabinet build uh, for a pizza oven. I've uh, been using the, the Gosney rock box for a while and just want a little more, a little more permanent setup, a little nicer look. I used to have a green egg back in the corner back there. And uh, I have a couple other green eggs, so I'm not using it as much. So we're gonna do a little more variety out here. Get a little pizza oven set up. And uh, I've kind of had a mobile setup that I've been using for a while that's been nice to use. Um, but we're going to upgrade a little bit, do something a little more permanent that might, you know, have possibility for like a, a nicer pizza oven even in the future if I decide to upgrade uh, from this smaller setup. Yeah, so I was saying this is like the mobile setup I have now. It does, you know, it's, it's a nice work surface. You can roll out pizzas next to it. Um, just looking for something a little closer to the door. I found that I'm usually still preparing things inside and then just popping it outside. So this is going to be a really nice, convenient location for me. Uh, if you haven't seen the build of this mobile setup that I have, uh, you can check out that video. I'll put a link up here in the corner you can click on and also in the video description as well. And uh, that can go through the whole build, which is kind of similar to what we're doing here. The framing process is similar and the finishing process is going to be similar as well. So what we have going on here so far, this is all just two by four framing. Um, I've done a lot of videos similar to this in the past and I'll put a playlist up in the corner that kind of goes through some of the different videos that have maybe a little more detail in the framing, but this is a uh, mainly just a two by four base, as you see down below there. And this area does have a slope on it, so I've shimmed it on one side, and I'll add a few more shims along the length of this as well. And then it's just two by four framing on top of that two by four you know, base. Uh, so really, really simple. And basically the setup we have going on we're going to have like a larger cabinet on the left and the right. Two doors in the center here for some more storage. And then we're going to have a pull-out drawer here in the top, which I haven't done before. So I'm looking forward to doing that and see how it goes. So just a few more zoom-ins here on details. So you can see, have you generally used pocket holes for the joinery. I just find it, this is a nice way to do it. So you can keep these vertical pieces streamlined and not have them be you know, three and a half inches wide, you can keep them one and a half inches wide. So after framing, the next steps are gonna be, we're gonna put in the floor uh, for the cabinets. I'm keeping it really simple. Uh, we're just gonna add some plywood. I'm using three quarter inch thick. I happen to have it lying around. You could use one quarter inch plywood if you want to, or one half inch. Either one of those is fine. But for me, uh, that's what I have to use. I've kind of measured it up. I found enough pieces to work with. Some of them are even gonna be two pieces for the floor, uh, just because I didn't have pieces wide enough. And that's okay, just use what you have. You're not gonna see the interior that much. It doesn't need to be fancy, just nice and sturdy. The next step after just getting the floors or cabinets in is really trimming out the front. We're just gonna be using three quarter inch cedar to trim out the front, the bottom, and the sides of this outdoor cabinet. Um, I've used this in the past, similar to the cabinet behind me. It works well, it holds up really nicely if you seal it, and it has a really nice look. I kinda, right, right? I like the way that one still looks. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, we're back at it today. I got the kind of the makeshift countertop set up back there, just a thin piece of plywood for the moment. Um, so that way I can kind of use it as we're in progress. Made some pizzas last night, turned out pretty nice. I've had quite a bit of experience with the rock box at this point, and uh, I'll put a link to my full review, uh, good and bad, up here in the corner that you can click on if you're interested in that actual pizza oven. Um, but we're gonna keep trucking on, and we're gonna mount some doors today. It's gonna be, gonna be a nice, progress builder. I spent some time building these. I'm not going to show exactly how I built these in this video. I will put a put a link down in the description uh, as well to a, a previous video where I show a little bit more about how building these doors works. Basically glued up panels, little bracing, European hinges. Uh, so we're going to work on mounting those today and then finally finish off with our drawer, our center drawer there. Uh, that'll give us a lot of storage as well. So I'm excited to get this closer to wrapped up. All right, we are uh, ready to mount the doors. I just wanted to note one thing or a couple things. One, I ordered the wrong, wait for the focus to come around here. Um, I ordered the wrong hardware. So these hinges are actually, I think, overlay hinges versus ours are going to be inset inside the frame. Um, so I was having trouble with that. So I had a little workaround, just mounted some quarter inch plywood inside the hardware there. And this should work out okay. We'll see how it works out. So 
next step will tell you how well I adjusted for that. And then I actually uh, snapped off one of the screws down here. So I'm missing a screw. Uh, it was just got really, there's a knot underneath there in the wood and it just snapped off the screw. So I'm hoping this will hold. Uh, if not, I'll have to rework one of the doors, which won't be fun. All right, we are one step closer. Doors went on okay. Check out the hardware. Once again, I didn't get the exact correct kind, so I had to do a little work around there, but it's all worked out okay for the most part. Close up all the doors here, give you a look. They're uh, soft closed, so in the winter, they take a long time to close. So, as you can see here, it's not perfect, but you know, it's homemade, it's okay. Build something yourself, doesn't have to be perfect. Still saving yourself a lot of money and build something that you're proud of in the end. As we get started on the drawer, I just wanna go over the basics. This is gonna be really simple. This is kinda of like old school, kinda of like, I don't know, like a uh, dresser drawer you might have in your uh, bedroom as a kid that just slides out, and pushes back in, no real hardware. Um, so all we gotta do is just, uh, we're just gonna mount these guys right in there. So we're gonna have basically wooden rails there for this thing to slide on. And after we have those rails mounted down beneath, we'll just put our, our homemade drawer sliding right in there. Maybe put a little bracing on top so when you pull the drawer out, it doesn't get all tipsy-turvy. Um, make a few adjustments as needed. I didn't build extremely tight tolerances. I just want this to work. And uh, that way I know anybody at home can do it too. If I can do it this way, then I'm sure you can pull it off as well. Okay, so everything's going good. Got our rails on, got our uh, drawer all put together with the face on. And now we're gonna put the drawer on top of the rails. You might have, uh, what I tried to show was I was also gluing some, basically some shims on the side. So it'll have less rock this way. It'll still have some, but it'll tighten it up a little bit more. Uh, so we're gonna put the drawer in. And after we put the drawer in, we're going to uh, just put some bracing on top of it here to keep it from wiggling too much, so. Let's wrap this sucker up. We use shims one more time. Just gonna put a shim on top of each one that we're actually going to pull out after we're done. And this is gonna make it so when we put these on top, it's gonna make sure it has got enough little wiggle room in there that's not gonna get too tight. Okay, I think the drawer is done. I took the shims out, just kind of got like back out the screws, slide those shims out that we put in, rails are on, let's see if it holds. Not bad, not bad. 
One thing I didn't do, I didn't add like a stop on this, so you can pull this all the way out and it'll fall out. Um, I might add some sort of stopper on it, so, but I don't see my son really like pulling that all the way out. So I think it'll be fine, it's a pretty deep drawer. And now, only if I had some granite. Boom, and just like that, granite is completed. I'm happy to have the rock box set back up, uh, everything done. I was able to uh, have the granite company just drill a three and one eighth inch hole for this desk grommet that you'd use to put cables underneath your desk um, so I could get the, the gas line in there easily and leave options for the future. You know, I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do with this space in the future, so I can always snake another gas line down there for a different uh, pizza oven in the future if I want to. So I'll put a link for that in the video description uh, for that part. And then if you have any questions on this build, definitely leave me a note in the comments and I'll get back to you on that. Happy to answer any questions and then as with my other builds, I will have plans on this at searedandsmoke.com uh, shortly if they're not already posted. So I'll put those links in the video description as well. Um, if you like these builds and you like outdoor cooking in general, I'd love to have you as a subscriber here at Seared and Smoked. And I'm gonna leave you today with a couple uh, video links here to one for the Rockbox pizza oven review, uh, which I'm complete completing about the same time now. So that'll be posted. Thorough review of the Rockbox, it's a good oven. Always some improvements that can be made, of course. And then I'll leave a link here for also uh, the different DIY builds I've done in the past for green eggs and other things. Um, standalone grill carts, all that stuff. You can check those videos out if you're interested in other builds. So we'll see you next time. Definitely subscribe. Love to see you on the next video here at Steered and Smoked.